This is Rare Pitch, and so it looks like Little Kim Fifth might have been a big op of the Migos. I uncovered some tweets from him from back in 2018. And then after that as well, he had some other tweets. He was disrespecting Migos and specifically Quavo. It looks like he didn't like it at all. So this dude was a straight up op of the Migos, it looks like. I mean, he was threatening people with Dracos. He was talking about if you listen to them around him, it's going to be going up from there. Like, straight up, don't listen to the Migos around him, he was saying, or his own. You know, he might he might smoke you or something. It sounded like, you know, this dude did not like the Migos. He was saying, Quavo, don't play that around him. He was saying people's is clowns if they was vibing the Migos and he was totally against the Migos. It looks like he was a big op. Um, Cause why would you be making threats like that? It's like, did this dude even know the Migos? It doesn't seem like he even knew the Migos, but this leads to some speculation now, because does that mean that little cam was behind the Migos getting invited there? Maybe Jay Prince knew that this dude didn't like the Migos. Maybe this was all a setup. Because what's the chance of this dude being so hateful against the Migos and then being in the same room secretly with them and they didn't even really know dude hated them like that? There was pictures that surfaced from that very night that Takeoff got smoked. And basically in the pictures, it looks like Quavo had spotted this dude acting funny because the way he was looking at him. So this dude might have been kicking it off with them all night, sneak dissing them. Who knows what he was doing? He might have been in other people's ears trying to get them to, you know, hit him on that dice game or whatever. Um, who knows if Jay Prince or anyone knew what was going on, but it's very suspicious, these tweets. So it looks like they've been taking their time with this whole arrest thing. There has been no arrest, but I'm expecting arrest because I don't see a self-defense situation in this case because take off was an innocent bystander. So it sounds like if he was caught in the crossfire or if it was intentional or whatever, it doesn't look like there's any type of way anyone can claim uh, self-defense or anything like that. So I'm expecting charges soon and it might even be heavier charges than people were expecting because I'm hearing that the feds might have took over the case. And that's might be that might be what's taking so long if this becomes a rego or something where they try to just take down the whole mob ties or something or whatever. I heard there's not a lot of cooperation, but I don't know how much cooperation they really need because it sounds like there's plenty of evidence out there to figure out what happened because the internet already figured out what happened pretty much. Now the internet's like the things you find on this channel and in the, in the internet and stuff, you know, it's not the official narrative that's coming out from them, but you know, people have eyes. People can see what's going down by slowing down the video and the streets are talking. So people are figuring this stuff out. So look, little Cam was an op of the Migos. He did not like them. He was a big hater of them. He was against them. He was threatening people uh, over the Migos. He was specifically against Quavo. So I'm leaving all these tweets right here so you can see for yourself that he did not like them. So we got to see what happens next. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to Rap Hits here on YouTube. Also, make sure you uh, go to rapids1.com for all the video footage and new music videos from the top artists and all that. Exclusives, interviews, all that. So links in the comment section and description box. Make sure you like and all that. Make sure you like the video and all that. So I'm out of here.